BIPA Conference 2024, celebrating academic excellence in mental health care. The British Indian Psychiatric Association, BIPA, held its annual academic and social conference event at the Earl of Doncaster, Doncaster, UK, this weekend, June 29th and 30th, 2024. The event was a huge success, attracting over 120 attendees from the UK and beyond. The conference was filled with stimulating lectures and workshops featuring speakers worldwide, as well as important discussions on how to best continue their support to students and psychiatrists. Attendees could attend lectures and workshops on a variety of diverse topics, providing a valuable experience for psychiatrists of all disciplines and levels. The conference was packed with interactive activities, including a psychiatry quiz, poster presentations by medical students and psychiatrists of all levels and an essay competition. The executive committee members and speakers even had the opportunity to share their experiences and thoughts with World News TV. Hello everyone, my name is uh, Sri Devi. I'll be taking over the BIPA presidency from 30th of June 2024. Thanks to all the speakers, conference organizers and the delegates who attended the conference making it a big success. I request all BIPA members to volunteer for the BIPA work stream so that we can make a BIPA successful organization for future generation. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Shekhar Sishadri, a retired child psychiatrist from the National Institute of Mental Health and Neurosciences, Bangalore, uh, India. I'm here also in the, my capacity as the president of the Indian Association of Child and Adolescent Mental Health. Honored to be part of the BIPA conference. Uh, thank you, BIPA, for having me over and inviting me to share our experiences with India's biggest public child mental health initiative, Samvad, a national initiative and integrated resource for child protection, mental health and psychosocial care. I'm honored and privileged to share my work and my experiences with BIPA and all the people who've attended this marvelously organized conference. Hi, I'm Dr. Shweta Mittal. I'm a consultant psychiatrist in Nottinghamshire Trust. And today we are here. Uh, we are organizing the British Indian Psychiatric Association annual conference in the Earl of Doncaster, a beautiful venue. I'm the um, executive committee member at present, and I'm the new incoming treasurer. Looking forward to work with the new executive committee. Looking forward to spread the awareness about mental health. See you all. and. Please, please do support us, work with us. We are looking forward to engaging you all, promoting mental health uh, all, uh, throughout the world. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for inviting me. I am Dr. Bapuji Rao Valagapudi, working as a consultant, old age mental health, in Enurian Bevan Health Board in South Wales. So I joined National Health Service as early as 1973, after doing psychiatry in Arlene Institute. So this is my 51 or 52nd year of National Health Service since 1987 in Wales. So I have been involved happily in BEPA since its foundation. I am one of the first founder members and then worked in various capacities in the executive, treasurer and so on. So BEPA has flourished a lot. It filled a gap in helping doctors of Indian origin and of course, it, now we are working along with other international bodies, such as uh, Indian Psychiatric Society and American Indian Psychiatric Association, as well as our local diaspora bodies like BAPIO, British Association of Physicians of Indian Origin. With the latter, I did go to India on three, four occasions to recruit people from for MTA, the Medical Training Initiative. So when I attend these meetings year after year, so much interaction between the psychiatrists of various countries. Especially today I learned a lot what is happening in India. And also in excellent lectures from Lester Group about the evolution of the postgraduate training in this country uh, from the initial clinical attachment and then PLAB examination, and then MTI, and followed more recently uh, as a, uh, CESR and other developments. So I'm very happy with the way BIPA has progressed. Hi, I'm Bhavna. I'm the 14th uh, president of BIPA. 
I'm so pleased with my EC team for having worked very hard to put a, such a beautiful conference in a fabulous hotel. I can't thank enough the speakers, the delegates, both nationally and internationally. And uh, without their uh, participation, we couldn't have made this conference a super hit success. I'm so delighted that I'm part of the legacy of the presidents, and I wish BIPA the very best always and ever. Hi, uh, I'm uh, Devashish Das. Uh, I'm the specialist advisor for uh, CPD uh, at the Royal College of Psychiatrists. I'm also the head of school for psychiatry in the East Midlands and a consultant psychiatrist in Leicester. Uh, conferences like uh, BIPA, British Indian Psychiatric Association, help uh, foster a sense of collegiality, a sense of working together and learning together whilst you are some for young people new to a in a foreign country as international graduates uh, and others and it helps in building that confidence and knowledge which we all need share good practice and uh, helps improve the profile of psychiatry thank you hello everyone i'm professor nandini chakraborty i'm a consultant psychiatrist in early intervention in psychosis based in leicester I used to be the Associate Dean for Equivalence in the Royal College of Psychiatrists between 2016 and 2021. Though I am the national lead for recruitment into CT1 and ST4 at the moment, CESA and what is now called the Portfolio Pathway to Specialist Registration remains a big part of my career and passion. I believe that medical educators, and medical managers, clinical directors, have the responsibility to understand the best way to develop their workforce. And to understand this, we need to know all the pathways to specialist registration. I'm Pratish Thakkar, I am uh, the BIPA Cultural Secretary. We are here today at the uh, at Doncaster, Earl of Doncaster, which is a, a we are having a annual conference. Um, we've got speakers from all over the uh, world including India and we've got over 125 delegates and uh, it's great to be here. Please come next year if people are seeing this video and haven't come. Hello, I'm Helen Gillespie. I'm a professor at University College London. Delighted to have been invited to come and speak at the BIPA Conference 2024 on mental health rehabilitation. Um, these are services that focus on people who have particularly complex psychosis um, and what I was doing today was making the case that these services really need to be incorporated into every local mental health system in order that this particular patient group get a fair deal. Um, we've got very good evidence that when services exist, outcomes for this group are way better than when they don't and they pay for themselves because they prevent people having recurrent relapses and readmissions. So it was wonderful for me to be able to come and talk to people who might never have a, a much experience of rehabilitation and uh, try and put that across to them. My name is Samrat Sengupta. I was a forensic uh, psychiatrist in Broadmoor Hospital. Now I've left medicine and become a barrister. I practice mainly crime and family law. I'm delighted to be invited in BIPA today. I had my presentation and it was fantastic so, to meet firstly so many old friends but also to do my presentation and encourage people to think about law and psychiatry. I am Amit, Amit Biswas. I'm a consultant child and adolescent psychiatrist. I'm also a Royal College Wellbeing Lead in London. I'm absolutely honored and delighted to be here in a galaxy of wonderful presenters, talk and friends to meet with, have fun, and to be just here. So thank you, Vipa. Beyond the academic discussions that happened over the weekend, BIPA also organized wonderful opportunities for attendees to relax and socialize with one another. The evening included a stand-up comedy show, delicious dinner, and a lively dance performance with a DJ. This combination of academic and leisure activities created a truly unforgettable experience. BIPA is a prominent UK-based Indian diaspora organization established in 1995. It gained charity status in October 2016 and is now registered as a charitable incorporated organization, CIO. The conference allowed the charity to further discuss what their goals are moving forward. BIPA remains dedicated to supporting medical students and psychiatrists throughout their careers. The organization is keen to take part in further charitable initiatives in both the UK and India. 
For more information about BIPA's work, goals and upcoming events, please visit the website bipa.org.uk. SM Irfan Tahir, World News, Doncaster.